All right, going to do a video showing how the ESV actually covers up for the Roman Catholic priesthood in Matthew chapter 24, verse 5, and Matthew chapter 24, verse 23 and 24. You know, they call it the English Standard Version, but I call it the Extremely Satanic Version, plain and simple. So first of all, uh, the KJV in these verses warns about false Christ and those who would you know, claim to be Christ or another Christ. Uh, Matthew chapter 24, verse 5 in the KJV. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Clear as day. Matthew chapter 24, verse 23 and 24, again in the KJV. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. So, it's clear as day, it's warning about those who would say, I am Christ, or Lo, no, here is the Christ. Basically, a warning about other Christ. You can contrast that with Paul's warning in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse, I believe it's verse 4. talks about those who preach another Jesus. Now, how does this, you know, warn about the Roman Catholic priesthood? Well, in paragraph number 5, uh, 5, 1548 of the Catechism of the Catholic Church, it literally says that the priest is another Christ. Here's what the text says. It says, In the ecclesial service of the ordained minister, it is Christ himself who is present to his church as head of, the, of head of his body, shepherd of his flock, priest of the redemptive sacrifice, teacher of truth. This is what the church means by saying the priest, by virtue of the sacrament of holy orders, acts in persona Christi Capitis. Uh, it is the same priest, Christ Jesus, whose sacred person his minister truly represents. Now the minister, by reason of the sacerdotal concentration, consecration, however you say it, uh, which he has received is truly made like unto the like to the high priest and possesses the authority to act in the power and place of the person of christ himself virtue ac persona espies christi again my latin is not very good so just bear with me uh, christ is the source of all priesthood the priest of the old law was a figure of christ and the priest of the new law acts in the person of christ so right there we saw that the catechism is saying that the priest acts in the person of christ another christ Plain and simple, which is exactly what Christ warns about in Matthew 24, verse 5, Matthew chapter 24, verse 23 and 24. Now, how does the ESV cover up for Rome's priests? Well, it changes the, the wording of the verses there. Matthew chapter 24, verse 5 in the ESV. Here's what it says. Watch how it covers up for them. It says, For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and they will lead many astray. Hmm the Christ. Catholic priests don't claim to be the Christ. They just claim to be another Christ. See how it's covering up for them? Uh, then also Matthew 24, verse 23 and 24 in the ESV. Then if anyone uh, says to you, look, here is the Christ, or there he is, do not believe it. For false Christ and false prophets will rise and perform great signs and wonders uh, so as to lead, to lead astray, if possible, even the elect. But again, notice here is the Christ. See, it's not just warning about those who would say, I am Christ, or here is Christ. Like, like exactly what the Catholic priests are. It's saying the Christ. Well, again, Rome's priests don't claim to be the Christ. They just claim to be another Christ. You see how the ESV covers up for the Antichrist-spirited Romanist priesthood. Plain and simple. Just more proof of the fact that the ESV is the extremely satanic version. It covers up for the satanic Antichrist priesthood of the Roman, the Romanist cult. Plain and simple. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.